at a time when the state continues to strive for complete normalcy. A skill training initiative is bringing youths from different communities, including the Metis and the Cookies, together while providing livelihoods even to the internally displaced youngsters. Well, Chief Minister Enbirin Singh had an interaction program with youths trained in the hospitality sector under Hunar Se Rozgar scheme and perfumery at Hindu College Delhi at the Chief Minister's Secretariat today. The interaction program was jointly organized by Tourism Department, Government of Manipur and Textiles, Commerce and Industries Department, Government of Manipur. Under the Hunar Se Rozgar scheme of the Ministry of Tourism, around 400 youths have completed or are undergoing training. Out of this, 169 have secured placements in key cities. 78 of these belong to the internally displaced persons category. 30 youths, including 15 IDPs from across the state, participated in the three-week perfumery training program held at Hindu College, Delhi. Youths from different districts who had undergone training and secured job placements shared their experiences during the training program and appreciated the Chief Minister and the Government of Manipur for the initiatives being taken up for them. Significantly, trained youths from Kangpokpi and Churachanpur attended the interaction program through video conferencing along with those from Tamenglong, Senapati and Ukron. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister Enbirin Singh stated that the interaction with youths of different communities was a happy and emotional moment after one and a half years of unprecedented crisis. He added that the occasion gave a new hope of the state's development with focus on youths marching together as one. He added that people of Manipur had been facing hardship due to the unprecedented crisis and by God's blessing, affected people had started returning to their original places. The Manipur chief minister further stated that people should focus on bringing peace and concentrate on healing the wounds rather than blaming one another. Expressing satisfaction on the spirit of the youths to work for earning their livelihood, the chief minister announced to extend financial aid of Rs 50,000 each as seed money to the youths who had undergone training on perfumery. Well, Enbirin Singh also informed that the government would provide one-time support of Rs 5,000 to assist the trained youths in settling in their places of employment. Significantly, Chief Minister Enbirin Singh also informed that a special flight will be arranged for those who got job placements at different cities and he himself would come to see them off at the airport. Chief Minister Birin Singh also spoke about various initiatives taken up by the government for the people staying in relief camps and expressed his desire to cover all districts in providing training to youths giving priorities to those staying in relief camps. Meanwhile, as for official sources, to help the IDPs who are given job placements, the state government will further assist them with a one-way ticket to Guwahati. If necessary, chopper services to Imphal Airport will also be provided. Well, this includes youths from Kangpokpi and Churachanpur. So a key takeaway from today's interaction program is that in the first 16 months, youths from Kangpokpi and Churachanpur have also taken part in an event in Imphal through video conferencing.